Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. So in this video, uh, in fact, it's a video series that I'll be creating to teach you how you can use GetResponse to create a website to promote something. Okay, so because the content is very long, so I'll be breaking down this entire topic of website creation using GetResponse into different parts. So today I'll just show you how you can begin to build the website and go through some of the feature of the website builder. Okay, so the thing, the objective now in this video is that I would like to uh, promote a software called Publisher Rocket. So it's a software that helps uh, Kindle uh, authors to do research on find out what are the good topics to write before they publish and write the topic on Kindle, okay? And you can promote uh, anything. Uh, you can promote any software, any uh, products and services using the GetResponse website builder. I'm just using this publisher Rocket as an example, okay? So once you have a GetResponse account, you just need to log into your GetResponse account and under Tools over here, click on Website Builder. So once you click on Website Builder, you will see a screen something like that. And I already have a website here. So let me show you how to create a new website uh, from one of their template. Okay, so over here you can see there's a button, Create Website. So just click on create website over here and you can use the AI power builder or use the template. So for me, uh, for now, I prefer the template. Uh, you can go ahead and use the AI power builder and see if you are happy with the design. But for me, I like to choose the template that uh, I will base my website on. Okay. So once you click on the templates design, you can see there's a lot of templates available in GetResponse. Okay, and I'm going to shortlist only for the business. And when I scroll down, then you can see that there's all types of templates for many uh, kinds of uh, local business. That's for cleaning services, that's for furniture, so there's quite a lot of uh, templates that you can choose. So for me, I am promoting a uh, software. I'm using this website for affiliate marketing purpose. So I would like to use this template. So I can open up a full site preview. And it will load up the website. So over here, I can put in my logo. I can put in an image over here. I can have some text and call to action. Then I have a second session over here. I can feature something. I can link to other specific areas of my website. Okay, I have more areas that I can use. So this is what it is, the template. So I will use this template. So I will click on use template. Okay, so the website has already been generated. So you can see that this is how the website looks like. Okay, you can save and exit. Okay, so make sure wherever you do uh, some updates, you save the website and then you can exit back to the previous screen, back to website. And this is the website that we will be creating. So when you come back in future and you want to edit the website again, you can go to this three dot over here and click on edit. And it will bring you back to the website editor. So this is a website builder. And it's a very simple to use website builder where you can find all the option over here. Uh, you, when you click on the first option, manage pages, you can add um, how many pages you want over here. Okay, and each of the page, there's a setting. You can also click on that. Then you can close this panel over here by clicking close. And the second icon over here is the global design. When you click on it, you can select things like the language. You can select the content width. You can select the color palette and the 
typography for the website so this is the global uh, design for the elements okay and for now i just want to show you how i do up the first section over here in this video okay so first thing first is the logo so you just need to click on the logo over here and over here you can see that there's a replace option just click on replace and you can add files so you can add your own logo so i've used canva to design a logo already and i will also link up to one of my logo creation tutorials so you can check it out on how you can use a canva to design a logo so i click on use and you will replace with the logo and you will need to edit because it's a bit small right now so just click on this edit and it will bring you to the window over here you just need to crop it nicely over here to minimize the space surrounding the logo okay so something like that and you click save and it will appear so if you find that the logo is too big you can just resize accordingly maybe something like that okay and i close this window okay so this is my new website logo i call it kdp tips kdp means kindle direct publishing tips so in this website i'm going to share tips on how uh, people can publish kindle books okay and stuff like that and this is my uh, call to action over here so i'm going to type up something over here so you can just click on it and drag are you looking for tips on kindle publishing okay so you can just type in anything over here okay so i'm just typing something as an example okay so what i do here is i have type in, are you looking for tips on kindle publishing uh, you have come to the right place can click on the following button to find out more and you can click on this button and you can decide where the button should be linked to okay so this is a very useful feature over here and you can also customize the text currently it's call to action you can put in contact me for example okay so and for the image you can click on the image as well and then you can replace the image by clicking replace over here so click on replace okay so by the way you can also access to many free get response images you can use in your website you just click on this tab free get response images and you can search okay so there are a lot of images you can use so it's very very uh, good software that comes with images you can use in the website but for me i've already uploaded some picture that i can use so i click use okay again you can edit if you want to make sure that the space is minimized around the images okay and click save okay and you can adjust the spacing the padding over here as well okay and i can put in more text to make it fill up more content okay so that is all for the first part of the home page okay in my future video next few videos i will touch on how we can uh, edit the second and the third section and to link it to other pages i'll see you in the next few videos thank you